What's the message? Oh my goodness. I know at some point in our lives we might have seen a car with all these funny looking stickers on its bumper. So these are called bumper stickers. What are these bumper stickers telling you? Each bumper sticker has a specific message that it wants to provide whoever reads it with. Bumper stickers use words, short phrases, or pictures to convey or tell a message. Hmm, why are we doing bumper stickers? Well, when we think about the theme or the central message in the story, we're thinking about, hmm, what is this story trying to teach me? Story teaches the reader a lesson, right? The meaning of something, a moral or a message about life or just human nature, how people are. The central message is the author's purpose of the story. Again, the author's purpose. Why is the author writing the story? Or a lesson or moral they're trying to teach the reader. In this example, it says slow and steady wins the race. If you've heard the story of the hare and the tortoise, the tortoise won because it went really slow and it was very steady. While the hare took some time to rest and ended up losing the race. Some examples of themes, growth can come from failure, appreciate what you have, stand up for what you believe in, help others in their time of need. Any of these can be examples of theme in fiction because fiction is our focus for this module. So let's take a look at some examples. Here I have a circle over a phone with a slash and it says no phone zone and it's crossed out meaning it's prohibited. So this message People should not use their phones in that area or zone. Some people might have this in a lot of, um, in some restaurants. They might have it in some spas. Anywhere where it's meant to be quiet is considered a no phone zone. And you might see this sticker. This sticker here reads coexist. And I see different symbols for different religions that you can have. Co means to together like if you cooperate with someone if you communicate it's together it's being done um in together and if we exist it means that we're in the same place we're coexisting so we're in together so this bumper sticker means this shows symbols from different religions the message it sends is that even if you believe in a different religion we should still all get along we can still all coexist and work and and get educated in the same places. Great. So now you're going to try it. You're going to go to Nearpod. It is the next activity um, on Schoology right below. And you're going to click on it and match the bumper sticker to its correct message. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm here to teach you how to create your bumper sticker. So you're going to need a sheet of paper. It could be white, it could be any color, it could be lined paper. Any sheet of paper you have in your home is perfect for this activity. Um, anything you can write on or draw on, it doesn't matter the size either. Um, I have a white, regular white sheet of paper. So what I'm going to do is notice how I have, I'm holding it horizontal which is from left to right the longer way if I if it's this way it's vertical think of the letter V going up and down this is the long way I want it to be horizontal and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top two corners and I'm going to fold the paper so that the top two corners touch the bottom two corners and then I'm going to press to crease so I'm gonna do it here um, let me see perfect so these are my top two corners and I'm going to fold it to top to touch the two corners here and then I'm going to crease the paper press it 
and then just slide so that your paper is nice and folded. You want your bumper sticker to open up, okay? So make sure that when you're drawing on it, when you're drawing on your bumper sticker, see? You want it to open this way. So on the front, you're going to write your bumper uh, message. What is your message? What message, theme, central message did you learn from the text Love Amalia? It has to be about the text. All right. So we'll see what I create. So I have finished my bumper sticker. Are you ready to see it? I'm excited. So this is my bumper sticker. So my bumper sticker, wait, my bumper sticker was from Tiger Rising. I did not use Love Amalia. I did not want to take a theme that maybe one of you guys can use. So because we all read Tiger Rising, I picked a theme or a central message from Tiger Rising. So the theme that I selected was Sadness Rise. So let Sadness Rise. Notice how he's sad. And then the sadness rise, and now it's much happier. And I added some wings to indicate that whole rising um, aspect. Now, when I open it, inside there is my explanation. Rob was advised by Willie May to let his sadness rise, and he did at the end, and he broke down to his father. On page 37 is the sentence where Willie May says, you keeping all that um, sadness inside, down below. Page 111 is when he broke down to his father. So not only it's not only creating your bumper message, it's also explaining why you selected that message and then what evidence from the text supports that. I hope this was helpful. Can't wait to see you guys getting creative. You can add color, stickers, anything you want. All right, make it fun. Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that another way that you can submit your, or create, the brother say, your bumper sticker is using the Sketchpad app website that you guys use with, with, with Miss Watson. So sketchpad.app. Pad, enter it's going to bring you to the website which meant you guys have used before with miss watson i have my screen here click new if you have something already there uh i would suggest you click a blank one okay create so what i would do is uh split it in half so get your uh pen You might want to get a pen and just split the paper in half, however best you can, so that the top is the front part of the bumper sticker and the bottom is where you have to type the evidence. So you would do your design here. If I was to do my sadness one again, right, this is just quickly done. And I would decorate it. I could add images to it. And at the bottom, then you would have to use uh, the text box to then write your text. Rob, and make it smaller. Okay? Make it so. And I just type exactly what you saw. Rob was advised. So why, why this theme or message? Rob was advised by Willie May to let his sadness rise and he did and at the end he broke down to his father and then excellent you got that down packed and then you can use another one for your evidence page 37 you keeping all that sadness dot 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 let me stretch it to the side sadness and then page 111 I wish it had I wish it had been dot 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 so 
that and then once you're done with that you click the save export save it and then you upload it to Schoology or you can take a screenshot. I hope this was helpful. Bye bye.